think it was the surroundings that kind of created parkour. You know what I mean? Without the surroundings, then we wouldn't have thought, let's get over this. So let's find the quickest way around this. It's unlimited, you know, there's, there's no equipment. You're born ready, your tools, you take it with you everywhere. And the constant change in surroundings means that the possibilities are endless. And it will always progress and it'll, ne it'll never stop because the environment keeps progressing. Parkour and nature is kind of like unexplored at the moment. I mean, we, we adapt to urban environments. We, we're seen jumping off buildings, running up walls. If you go to a natural environment, like a jungle or a forest and all that, that's, that's like going back in time to when we were like monkeys, you know, and we, and we were still built the same, we got two hands, two feet, you know, we still should be able to do that stuff. So t well, taking a step back will be a bit more interesting. So I want to see how well parkour adapts to a natural environment. <laughs>